So welcome to my channel, Inspiring Brains. So this is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently doing medicine, and an academy educator. So this is a continuation of my first video where I discussed about the anatomy. In this video, we're just going to talk about physiology and biochemistry. So I don't take much time in physiology as everyone's favorite subject and of course you'll get more pass marks in this subject in your internals, right? So the art, whether uh, you're studying in a uh, Guyton, so since you started to study in a Guyton or it will be ended up in Sembolingam. So the art of getting a distinction on all harness is in our hands. So Sembolingam or Guyton, what you have to know is you have to know to write a story. Everybody remember about the English check-in paper where you write about the non-detail essay, right? The same prodigy is followed here. You have to put a synopsis and you have to write a better story and you have to take this uh, important points and put a flow chart with different colors of the same story. And again, it will work. It will work to get your more marks. And if your story has some valid points with clinical correlation, come on, it will be end up in honors, just like me. So though it sounds silly, it will work. It will surely work. So that's for physiology. So let's take a minute to give a shout out for today's video sponsor and academy as you know everything is becoming online because of this covid pandemic so and it's better to prepare in a well pronounced platform that is an academy uh, and the advantage is just very simple whatever the test you are going to write you'll get an all india rank with a detailed solution from the toppers and this video is mainly to give you two announcement one is there is neat ug combat that is happening every week Sunday 11 a.m. and uh, there are separate portions for 11th, 12th and even for repeaters. So you'll get uh, different medals for gold medal, silver and bronze medal for top rankers and medal certificates and the importance is you will get a scholarship 100%, 25%, 50% based on your marks and you can easily enroll using my code HARI. The second thing is there is a prodigy test which is happening in an academy. That's for maximum classes like uh, 7 to 8 or 9th to 10th, even for 11th, 12th, NEET and also for IIT JE students. So there is separate timing with separate portions. You can easily enroll and the importance is based on the winners, they will get iPad or MacBook or uh, some vouchers, everything. And they are also uh, eligible for many scholarship regarding the Unacademy subscription. So all you have to do is you have to enroll using my code Hari or using the link which is given in the description box below. So use this opportunity to crack the things. So when it comes to biochemistry, I know the biochemistry is somewhat tough and many of the students uh, won't get even a single pass mark in their internal exams, right? Because we don't know how to uh, present it in the exam. That's the simple task. So for biochemistry, we have limited portions. And what you have to do, so if at all you want to know the basics, you have to start from the crux. But since you have got a very less time, you have to go with the important questions that is given in your university question papers. So what you have to do is, you have to do all the disorders in a single shot. So the important question for the exam is, rather than a cycle, the lysosomal storage disorders will be an important question like mucopolysaccharidosis, sphingolipidosis, these all will be important questions. So rather than wasting most of your time in the cycles, just study some disorders with correlation. So how it can be correlated? It's very simple. For example, if you take Gaucher's disease. So this is happening because of the absence of beta glucosidase, right? Since the absence of beta glucosidase, there won't be conversion of glucocerebroside to ceramide. So glucocerebroside to ceramide. Since the enzyme is absent, this won't be converted to ceramide. So what will happen? This will be uh, less in amount and this glucose uh, cerebroside will be accumulated in larger amount. Very simple. Since the glucocerebroside, it has high affinity for non-neural tissue than neural tissue. So automatically non-neural peripheral side effects. If there is galactocerebroside, it has neural side effects, which means there will be a intellectual disability, mental retardation, intellectual disability, everything will be present. So it's very simple. In glucocerebroside, if it is accumulating, there won't be mental retardation. There won't be intellectual disability because it is not concentrated in the neural tissue. This is how you have to connect and study. So if you know these things, you can easily write the symptoms and everything and you can 
congregate all the things to get your marks. This is how you have to go with the biochemistry because you have less time and you have to crack like this to ensure more marks. So yes, so in this video we have talked about the physiology and biochemistry. In the last video we have talked about the anatomy. So if you find these videos are useful, just share to your friend and spare some time in subscribing my channel. Thank you and all the best for your exams. Do well. Bye.